guys. I'm uh, here in park down the street from my house and I want to set up my hammock, uh, my DD hammock. And I'm going to set it up today as it came from the manufacturer and uh, before modifying it. I'm going to do some modify, uh, modifications to make it a little bit easier to hang. Um, I really like it the way it is now, but it seems that everybody's modifying their hammocks. I'm going to try it. And it's something I want to do for a faster setup. Not necessarily easier, just faster. So that's what I'm going to show you today. Hi guys, um, I had to stop filming because the trees are too far apart. I paced out about 16 to 18 paces um, and I thought that was a good um, distance. I always set it up closer. I thought maybe I could get away with doing it a little bit further. So it has to be a little bit closer, at least 12 to 15 feet uh, closer. So we're going to find another one. Well, I found a new spot here with some uh, trees that are close together. I've already measured it out. I've got the hammock laying on the ground. Um, they're a little close, but right now it's ideal. Um, ideally, all I, ha I can find. Um, the sun's going down. If this were a real situation, if I were out hiking, I'd want my hammock up before it gets dark. So uh, we're going to do some time-lapse photo. Okay guys, so that is the setup um, as it comes out of the box. So it comes with this webbing, this strapping. I really like it because it grips the tree. And when I do my modification, I'm gonna reuse this. Um, this is the hammock sleeve that it comes with. Helps for uh, quick putting away. The mosquito net, as you see, you can see, is awesome because I don't want to deal with mosquitoes and you could get in on either side very strong zippers um, they don't come apart it's it's really good quality uh, this model is the newer one it has black uh, no see uh, mosquito netting so when you're inside it doesn't look like you're looking through a net uh, which is really good what I put in between let me get on the other side here what I put in between the two layers was my Thermarest sole. Um, it's got yellow on one side and the silver on the other. It helps reflect your body heat. Um, it's good for if you're using a sleeping bag as well, camping on the ground. Um, but that's going to help cut the uh, cold, the conduction of my body heat through the hammock. I'm not going to lose as much heat as well as the cold air going under. I won't feel as much um, so I've added these carabiners to help keep it closed um, it helps to hang things inside of the hammock there's two hooks which I've fixed carabiners on one side nothing on this side um, so you could hang things inside there's also a pocket on the inside of the hammock here, here, and I think, yeah, two at the front and two at the back, two uh, nylon pockets inside for your um, things. Now, you could, but it's not designed to, you could sleep in between these two layers um, and wrap yourself up like a cocoon. Otherwise, you're kind of open on the top. Um, where a so a top quilt would really come in um, handy. Again, this is DD Hammocks. It's from the UK. This is a frontline hammock. Um, what I did was before I put, tied it to the tree, I kind of peeked inside to make sure that the top was facing up, so I wouldn't have any twisted um, twisted ropes, like it wouldn't be like this while I was laying in it. 
Um, so that's helpful. When I make the modification, I think I'll make uh, a carabiner so it shows which side will be my head because um, getting in and out on this side where the opening is is kind of a pain. I like getting in and out on the other side. So I will kind of have to remember which side is the head and then uh, also which side is the side I want to get in and out of. Um, what else did I want to mention? So they comes with these uh, bungee cords. Now typically the mosquito net is held up. There's a, a pole here to keep it stiff. If you didn't want to carry the pole, if you want to go lightweight, you could find a stick from your location, which to me seems like a pain in the butt when you're just trying to get set up. Um, and you could use these loops and then tie the bungee cord to um, the stick. And I did not set up my tarp, but this bungee cord will set up, will go to my, ri will go to my ridge line so that it'll be up high like that. Um, so that's my setup. I don't know how. All right, so I just wanted to stop for a second and mention uh, the knot that I used. Um, it's very simple. They're, they're, you know, you don't have to know any fancy knots. You have to know how to tie your shoes, that's it. So the two straps come up and they go around. And what I did was around the back in some videos it shows them going around again the back and then around the front again three times through one two or two times through I guess just like that and then a bow tie this webbing is so great it just is grippy so that when it pulls it doesn't go anywhere well that just did but that's usually what happens when you sit and it settles um, but it's not gonna go anywhere and it's quick and easy to so I just wanted to mention that. Also, uh, show you the uh, poles close up. Oh, here it is. From the um, the mosquito net, it folds. It pulls out like that. It's like a tent pole, and that's it. Hi guys, I'm here. Um, I've made modifications to my Didi Frontline hammock. Um, again, this hammock I did get from the UK. Um, it's coyote brown color and um, I really like it. It has a mosquito net and um, that's really what's most important to me. Um, so this is the bag it came in. I'm going to show you what I did. So, um, this is how it comes. It comes with two on both ends. Um, a length of webbing passes through the end and you tie this end to the tree, around the tree. So what I did was to make it faster, uh, not necessarily better, was um, I cut the webbing off at a length where if I needed to use my hammock as a um, bivy shelter on the ground, if there were no trees, this could be uh, stretched out and then staked into the ground at four corners. And then you could use a um, walking pole or a twig, a stick to hold up the um, mosquito net and you can use it almost as a tent. Uh, it wouldn't be waterproof. Um, you would need to put something down on the ground between you and the ground, but um, like maybe a sleeping pad and uh, something above you to keep the rain out, but um, it is certainly uh, doable. So I left that much length of rope so that if I need to put this on the ground to stretch this out, I could. Okay, see it's just all gathered up around the thread. So what I did was I did a figure eight knot 
um, around with with the bite uh, already around this um, washer um, and I will give credit to the um, youtuber that I saw use a washer he used it in a different way where he did not cut any of his webbing off he just tied one end to the washer and then looped the excessive webbing around and just kept it on the side and then used that to pass through the washer for one bite and then again around it and through for a second bite which he then put his carabiner on um, also a locking carabiner like this I wanted and he used a different material as his tree hugger I really love this webbing I don't want to go out and spend any more money so I'm using what I have so um, the part that I cut off I made into a tree hugger and it's pretty simple you just fold it in half so that there's a loop on one end and you make knots along the length various lengths and they will change depending on your need and so what you do is you wrap this around the tree you pass it through the loop like that and there you go it's gonna hold tight it's gonna hold fast you don't have to tie anything um, and this is going to grip the tree really nicely and then you pass you put your hammock through one of the sections like that okay so it and when you need to tighten it up when I will demonstrate this after I finish the rest of the modification um, you just pull the extra length you go up the length through one of these other loops and then back down around again almost as a pulley system to, to really tighten it um, so you have a nice firm um, sleeping surface uh, so you're not you know turned into a banana overnight with your head down in the middle on the bottom and your feet hanging up high so I'm going to demonstrate if I can if it's possible how to do the other side for you